I want to bring in Lee Oleski. He is the CEO of TradeWeb to talk about this. Um, obviously, the markets have been very active, um, and I know that you all operate both in ETFs and derivatives as well as on the fixed income side. With what you were seeing in October, what was the most active, and can you extrapolate anything for the election and, and what happens next? Well, yes. Uh, so thanks for having me. Today, we uh, we actually reported our October trading volumes uh, for the whole month of October, and it was actually our second most active month ever. Uh, so we traded about 900 billion, a little over 900 billion per day in our markets in the month of October. That's the second largest one uh, relative to the, the strongest one was actually March, in the middle of the crisis. So a lot of uh, surge of activity driven, you know, mainly in, in our instance by the credit markets. We, we've seen a big uh, surge of volume in credits in the U.S. in particular. Uh, we're now doing almost 20 percent of the entire credit market is coming through our systems. That's investment grade credit in the U.S. Uh, and we've also seen a number of other trends, right? So there's been much more uh, debt issuance, obviously, over the last six months. Uh, in response to the crisis. So governments around the world are issuing tremendous amount of debt, which needs to get distributed and then ultimately gets traded. And finally, we see uh, an acceleration really of a longstanding trend, which is just electronification and more electronic trading, more activity being digitized, which isn't unique to trade web, but in our instance, it's this surge of volume in electronic trading. Lee, one of the one of the themes right now coming off uh, coming off election day is that we may not get a stimulus plan, and, and your business has benefited from uh, more stimulus uh, governments issuing that debt. How do you think the lack of stimulus will will impact your business moving forward? Well, you know the the, the fortunate thing about the position trade webs in relative to a stimulus plan or even to generally what's happening in, happening in the markets is. The activity will continue. There is a, a core group of institutions that are going to constantly be trading government debt, mortgages, all the different assets, credit, those sorts of things. Obviously, more volatility in markets is helpful for a business like TradeWeb. And certainly, you know, what I expect to see in the coming months is a bit more volatility, certainly than what we've seen uh, over the summer months. So things quieted down July and August. We saw things pick up in September, October, grew, you know, from September. And I think if we, you know, take a look at the markets over the coming month or so, uh, based on what's happening, um, we're going to see a bit more volatility yet. Lee, uh, if just judging by things, uh, how they look right now, President Joe Biden, a Republican controlled Senate and the House still controlled by the Democrats. How will that change the banking regulatory backdrop? Well, you know, we're, we're, that's actually not what we focus on at TradeWeb. So, um, you know, we're paying attention to what's happening in regulation relative to the market structure and things that are relevant to the bond market and our industry. But that's the kind of thing that I don't like to sort of get into. It's not my area of expertise. And I think that it's not, you know, not something relevant for us, directly relevant. 